yeah, obviously a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool award. I'm pretty thankful for it. And, uh, you know, I'm a big believer, you know, individual success happens um, from team success. So obviously that's, that's a big part of it there. 37 points for yourself uh, during the season. You had nine more in the playoffs for the Golden Bears. Uh, you know, what in, in general terms, uh, you know, what would you attribute some of your success on the ice to this season? Uh, you know, I think just kind of having a shot first mentality, first and foremost out there. Um, obviously, you know, we have a pretty good team and I'm out there with pretty good players and line mates. So they obviously, they help getting, getting me the puck and making plays. And when I make plays, they put in the net. So that's a big part of it. As we speak right now, we're about a week away from the University Cup over in Prince Edward Island. Uh, tournament that'll have a pretty big Alberta flavor, won't it? With both yourselves and, and the UFC uh, uh, heading out uh, heading out east. Uh, how excited are you guys? You know, you went last year uh, to, to Acadia, I believe it was. Uh, yeah. How excited are you guys to get out and experience uh, that tournament atmosphere again next week? Yeah, super exciting. You know, that's kind of what you're aiming for at the end of the year. And the biggest goal is to, to make it to nationals and ultimately win and I think just having that experience last year, there's a bunch of us on that team and we made it made it to the final game. You know, it was, it was very valuable. And um, yeah, we're really looking forward to doing it again. You spent your WHL career in Calgary, a junior hockey stops in British Columbia as well, Josh. But now at the U of A, you're playing at home. You're, you're back home in Edmonton uh, where you grew up. Uh, just just tell me about what that's like to have been away for, for so many years, but now to be able to be back at home and, and, and uh, you know, playing in front of friends and family, going to school in your hometown. Yeah, it's awesome. You know, I live pretty close to the university too. So it's, it's super convenient. Um, I mean, it's just, it's been such a great experience for myself playing hockey for a very prestigious program and then getting an education along with it. It's been super valuable. Um, but yeah, no, I really enjoyed being at home. Um, I feel like I have lots of resources around me that, I can use to better myself as a hockey player and a person and just trying to take advantage of that as much as I can. During your WHL career, uh, you, of course, spent uh, your entire time in this league with the Calgary Hitmen. Uh, you know, you got to play with your brother a little bit. Uh, you finished up as captain of the Hitmen in that shortened COVID year in 2021. Uh, when you look back at your time in the WHL, what are some of the memories that stand out to you? Yeah, lots of memories. Uh, I played with lots of great, great players along the way and, have uh, had Steve Hamilton as a coach who I enjoyed a lot in Calgary. Um, I think a couple memories. We played in that outdoor game in Regina, which was pretty cool. Um, I think like one of the first to do it in a while. Uh, we won. We won the, our first playoff series against Lethbridge and won in Game Seven in their in their rink, which was pretty cool as well. Um, yeah, those those were ones that stand out. And then just kind of the big games in Calgary, you know, like the Be, Bra Be Brave games. The teddy bear, the teddy bear toss games are pretty cool. Just having that full crowd in the saddle dome. So those those are definitely memories that stick out for me. What's your area of study? What are you uh, working toward at the U of A? Uh, I'm in the faculty of business right now. Uh, currently studying finance for to be my major, hopefully. So yeah, that's kind of just what I'm chipping away at right now. Did you always have an eye on kind of pursuing a career in the business world, or was that something that you'd always kind of had an interest in? Yeah, that's something I've always had an interest in just growing up. And um, I think that's kind of just what I've would have factored towards more in my life, I'd say the most. And, and I mean, lastly, uh, Josh, when you when you look at your studies and, and, and getting to be at the University of Alberta, I mean, just put into words uh, for me what uh, having access and taking advantage of the WHL scholarship is, is done for you and for your family. And, you know, if you were to talk to some prospective WHL players about what that program is all about. What would you say would be some of the highlights? Yeah. I mean, I think it's, it's super valuable. I mean, lots of guys do take advantage of it. I feel like more guys could as well. Um, it's been great. Just the experience for myself being, uh, being able to live at home and then go to my hometown university. It's been, it's been awesome. And then, like I said, playing for a prestigious program, like the golden bears. Um, I think for myself, like um, coming out of junior, um, I didn't think I was quite ready for pro. So coming to play hockey here was it was more of a hockey decision for sure. Um, but I mean, at the same time, I'm getting a great education at a great university, and I feel like I can, uh, as a hockey player, you know, develop myself a little bit more here, and then make that jump when I'm ready. So it's been a great experience overall. I mean, the culture that we have here and just the, the group the group of guys as well in the dressing room and everything it's it's second to none so it's it's been great